Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video that was started by Emily Noel 83 and Diva Makeup Queen and Wing from Diva Makeup Queen actually tagged me to do this video so I will link her original video down below and you guys can check that out. Um, her channel is amazing. She does a lot of really affordable makeup looks which is great for anybody on a budget or anyone who just doesn't want to spend that much money on makeup because I know a lot of you guys don't. So her channel is awesome for that. Definitely check her out. But the tag is called the 10 products under $10. So basically I'm going to be showing you guys 10, um, I have a little bit over 10, but of my favorite products under $10 complete head to toe so that's what I really like about this tag and that's why I kind of ran with it and picked more than 10 things it's not just makeup it's makeup hair outfit of the day everything I'm just gonna kind of go in the order of application for my eyebrows I really love these wet n wild color icon pencils they are super super long so there's so much product in here and these go for 99 cents so cheap and this one is in the color taupe. I pretty much use this to define the bottom and the top of my eyebrows. Then to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows I like to use the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kits. This pretty much was my go-to products for a couple of years. Recently I started switching between this and another product as well but this is really affordable. It's $5.99 and I do have a complete eyebrow video on how I maintain, upkeep, trim, shape, fill in my eyebrows, all that good stuff. So I will link that video down below and pop it in here somewhere so you guys can check that out if you're interested. So once your eyebrows are done and your face is pretty much framed and ready for the day, you might want to add some colors, some eyeshadows. The look that I did for this video is a little bit more of a summer nighttime look, but we're just going to go with it. So for my brow bone highlight, I'm using a L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow, and this is what they look like. And these go for $7.99, so really affordable, and they have a whole bunch of really pretty colors. For the rest of my eye look, I'm using one little palette, the Maybelline Eye Studio Color Explosion. Now, I had to include this because when it came out, I think it was about 8 or 9 bucks, but when I was looking into it online, it is $2.79 on Ulta right now. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is super affordable. It's such a nice, compact little palette with a whole bunch of colors that go nicely together, so you can create a bunch of different looks just using this one little guy. So let me talk about what's on my nails. Um, some of you guys asked in my previous video what I had on my nails. And this is the Nicole by OPI, the Selena Gomez collection or line. And this is in the color Hits the Lights. A really, really pretty yellow color. I love it for the summertime. Gorgeous with a tan. Drugstore.com, they have it for $6.79. To continue with the look that I did today, I used three different mascaras. Usually I use about four or five different mascaras, but these three happen to be under $10 each, so I use these three in my rotation for today. And it is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, which is $7.99, the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes, which is $8.99, and the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express, which is also $7.99. So now that we have pretty eyes, let's move on to the rest of our face. I have been loving this Revlon Color Stay Concealer. This is actually the newest concealer that I've purchased. I got it a couple of weeks ago um, at Walgreens, and this retails for $8.49. And it's absolutely amazing. I've really, really been loving it. Usually, I just use concealer on my under eye area. Unless I have, like, a random pimple or blemish that happens to pop up, I usually only use it on my under eye area. So that's why I got it in such a light color. I do have dry skin, so a lot of concealers that I place in my under eye area tend to get crackly and just look funky because my skin is dry so I like this formulation because it doesn't dry me out and it doesn't get weird on my face and it goes on really nice and smooth and gives me pretty pretty good coverage. For my face another new product is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. This is the most recent foundation that I have purchased and this retails for $8.54. 
in Target. Um, I have it in the color 842, which is medium beige. It is a little bit light for me now because I'm starting to get tan, but I still, I can still work it pretty good, and once I bronze up, it still works. I love it because it's a three-in-one, so it is a concealer, a foundation, and a primer all in one. It lasts all day. It really does last a very long time. I love it for that. It looks fantastic on. It kind of gives me like an airbrush look in the way that I apply it. Um, doesn't get cakey and it also has an SPF of 20. So I like cannot rave enough about this and for under $10, definitely, definitely an amazing foundation. Alright, for some reason I have some issues with tanning. I don't know if this happens to any of you guys, but I will stand or lay on the beach, under the sun, in the backyard, in the pool, anywhere I can, like this, for hours and hours and hours and hours. My face, my body always gets more tan than my face, I don't know why, but that's fine, because I could, you know, fix it with some makeup. But for some reason, my neck never wants to tan, and it's not like I'm standing up, you know, I mean, I go like this, and I leave my neck all open to tan, and my neck just doesn't, like, tanning so it's like my body gets the darkest and then my face is second and then my neck is just like oh I'll stay more on the white side so I love the Milani bronzer XL all over glow I know wing mentioned it diva makeup queen mentioned it in her favorites and I was trying to stay away from mentioning the same things because she did mention a couple of my favorites as well but this is so good that I had to bring it up again. I grab a big old kabuki brush like this. And it does have two colors inside. It's just a matte bronzer. It has a little bit of shimmer in the packaging. But you can't see it when it goes on. And I just blend this all up in there. And put it all over my neck. And this kind of brings my neck up to par with the rest of my body. So I love it because of the size. This is great if you have an event. And you want to like tan your legs even. You could do this? I can't even think of the word. You could brush this all up in there and put it on your legs with a big kabuki brush and your legs will be nice and bronze. So it's it's a good size for larger areas of your body. One last bronzer, and if you guys can't tell, I'm kind of obsessed with tanning and bronzing, is the e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzer Duo. I know you guys have probably heard about this a million times. It's just two little colors like that. The blush is very pretty as well. $3, this bronzer is hardcore. Please use a light hand with this thing because it will contour you. I use this a lot to contour. It will contour you like no tomorrow. Finally, moving on from bronzer, one of my absolute favorite blushes is this e.l.f. blush. It's a mineral blush. They go for $5, and this is in the color Bliss. The only thing I don't like about this blush is that it makes such a mess, so I'm going to open it slowly for you guys. But the color is gorgeous. I love, love this for the summertime. I love it for any bronze goddess type of looks, um, any glowy summertime makeup type of looks. It is like the perfect mix of a bronzy, blushy, pinky peachy color it's just so beautiful hands down probably one of my favorite blushes ever almost done with makeup i promise for my lips i love the maybelline baby lips i did mention this in my makeup collection um video that i did these are super hydrating they are amazing for your lips leave them nice soft hydrated moist but I wanted to show you this particular one because I've been in love with this combo of the Baby Lips in Plum and the Wet n Wild Mega, I think these are the Mega Last lipsticks in the color Bear It All, 902C. So this is what it looks like, a really nice nude color and with the Plum chapstick underneath it just gives it a really really pretty mix of color. The Baby Lips go for $3.99 and these go for $1.99 super cheap okay so moving on to hair I just have three things to show you guys number one is the Pantene Pro V detangler for normal to thick hair silkening formula I talk about this in my hair care routine video I'll link that down below love this stuff swear by it I go through this like water it's about 349 I think or 399 a bottle I cannot literally cannot get out of the shower without spraying this in my hair when I wash my hair so I basically just spray this and it totally detangles my hair. I could brush through it, no problems. Love it, amazing. Next up, my favorite product for sexy beachy waves is the Not Your Mother's Beach Bathe Texturizing Sea Salt. 
And I love this because of the way it smells too, but I also really love the waves that it gives me. It gives me really nice beachy waves. It looks like I literally just dipped into the ocean and stepped out all nice and Baywatch-ish. And my hair is nice and wavy and just gorgeous. So I really, really love the waves that this leaves me. And this goes for $5.99. Finally, the last product that I adore for hair are these weird things. These are called twist flex rods. I get them in my beauty supply. This one was $3.99. The yellow ones are a little bit thinner. These I think were $4.99 because they're thicker. But these are the ones that I use the most. And pretty much this is what I use when I want my no heat sexy bombshell curls. And I do have a full video. I'll put a picture up here somewhere of what my hair looks like when I use these as well. But I do have a complete video showing you guys how I use these and all that good stuff. So I will link that down below and up in here somewhere as well. You guys know the deal already. Okay, fashion time. So just to start with accessories, it is so easy to kind of amp up your look for really cheap. I love Forever 21 and places like that, H&M. The earrings that I'm wearing were actually a set of six for $4.80. They have a whole bunch of stud earring sets for $4.80, for $2.80, super cheap, and you get a whole bunch of different little earrings. Um, my bracelet as well was like $3.80. My necklace, which is one of my favorite necklaces of the summer of this season, was $5.80 or $6.80. So really cheap. Another store that I don't hear mentioned a lot is a phase. I found these in a phase, and yeah, I know they're humongous, but I like big earrings. These were originally $8, which is still under $10, but they were on sale for 50% off. So I got them for t for $4. Bucks. So really cheap and just nice and big. They have, of course, you know, dainty, cute earrings too, but I just love, like, gaudy jewelry. I just, I don't know. I love it. The bigger, the more extravagant. It's just so pretty. Um, <laughs> I'm trying not to kill myself. My dress, which is actually a maxi dress, is from... Okay, that's better. My maxi dress is from a store, or like a boutique in the Queen Center Mall in New York. It's not really a chain store, so I don't even remember the name of it. But it was exactly $10. So I have it in this color. I also have the same thing in black. And $10 for a dress and a maxi dress at that, you cannot go wrong. You throw it on. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you could wear it casual, you could go to the beach in it, you could go to dinner in it. Super, super great price for a super versatile item. Now, I can't let you guys walk outside barefoot. So, the final product that I have to show you guys are some flip-flops. And these are from Forever 21, and they were $8.80. I got them in this color, and in hot pink and neon yellow as well. Super cheap. Throw them on with any outfit, summertime, they're perfect for this weather, and they have other ones that are like $3.80, $5.80, all different prices. So I wanted to show you guys a whole bunch of different things to give you guys different ideas of what you can find under $10. It's definitely possible to create an entire look, head to toe, outfit and all, under $10, like I just showed you guys, and I hope this video was helpful. I will have everything, well, most of the stuff that I mentioned on my top floor site. Um, I've had a top floor for a while but I haven't really told you guys about it yet because I've been trying to figure out how it really works and things like that. But from what I've learned of the site, pretty much it's a website where there's different curators so some of your other favorite YouTubers might be a curator as well but what happens is on my site I create my own collections of products that I like and then you guys can go ahead and order anything that you want directly from there so you have it kind of all in one place. Now I'm always honest with you guys so I do get a percentage if you order through my collection but the good thing about it is that I can see different websites that order the same product and find the cheapest one for you guys and I always try to include the cheapest um, item or the cheapest one of that item in my collection. So for this, for example, you'll go and you'll see 
um, maybe this foundation and I pick the one that is the cheapest out of the different websites that offer it. All of the websites are known trustworthy websites so you're ordering from like Target or Walgreens or Drugstore or Forever 21, there's clothing, there's so much stuff so everything is trusted you don't have to worry about that. Pretty much it's just helping you to find the best price available and also kind of see what I'm really digging. So I do have my top 10 products and where I couldn't find the exact product I found something similar if possible. Um, you guys can check that out. I'll have the link for that so you could go ahead and see if there was anything you really liked and go ahead and order it from there if you want to. And also in the future I'm going to be making other collections on my top floor page just kind of showing you guys what I'm really into in the moment. Either summertime clothes that I'm really liking. I think I have a collection for like children's stuff up right now because I was kind of browsing through it and finding things that would be cute for Noelle or for little girls and things like that. There's so much cuter stuff for little girls than there is for little boys. It's insane. Sometimes I think it was a good thing that I didn't have a girl because I would have been like just completely broke. But that's neither here nor there. But <laughs> pretty much that's what Top Floor is. So I'll have the link to that. So that is my whole little thing for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, rate, um, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. I love you so much. Mwah. Bye.